Evening all, welcome to part two of my video series, uh, week seven, Aspies and the SCA. Um, sorry, I've been, been meaning to get out to you. I've been in four days. I had a job, helped somebody move, and helped a local Jarl move into his new home. Um, also, working on weapons. Uh, tourney season is here. Time, time to get up and motivated. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so last week's video, well, last part one of this week's video, sorry, uh, I expressed my frustration at some of what I was seeing. Uh, today, really quick, I'm going to cover um, what to do. You need people around you. You need people who who know. You need to be able to come out to people. You need to be able to say to people, I have Asperger's. These are the consequences. I need help. Um, you will probably date within the SCA. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I have, in fact, uh, my last girlfriend uh, met through the SCA. Uh, my ex fiance I met through the SCA. Um, yeah, so it, 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 I've, I've done it. I've been there. Um, most of the people I know in the SCA have done have done the same. Um, so uh, you need people around you that, that know your condition. You need to be able to explain things to people and you need to be able to do it clearly okay whether that be written or verbal you need to learn to communicate okay the onus is on us we're coming in not the other way around now my conditions are different i was brought into the sca into, the, into my kingdom when i was two and i'm 34. uh i've known people my whole life and when I got diagnosed, it was sort of, oh, okay. But there's an awful lot of people coming in who, who don't have um, sort of my my advantages. So you're going to, yeah, I said you need people. Um, you need to speak clearly. Communication. I don't care if you have communication problems. I'm going to look you right now and say, figure out a way around it. Deal. And I know that's mean and I know that's harsh, but that's the thing. You can't blame others if you're failing. You can if you're failing even though you're trying and you're trying over and over and over, you're trying different ways, you're trying new ways, you're trying different things, you're trying new things. Okay, I didn't fight for years because of my heat intolerance and I did sparring and then I started fighting to, to scratch that itch. Um, I know that I'll probably never win a Kingdom ANS award because they require you to document and I have dysgraphia. And frankly, it's it's that fun pain equation. Um, the fun of winning a ANS competition isn't worth nearly the amount of pain. Now that doesn't keep me from doing ANS activities or having ANS awards. Um, I I have two at least two awards for ANS. I just didn't bother to enter any competitions in which I needed to document. And I've entered some where I did, and no documentation required. And if I can enter it, I did. Um, other than that, I just let my artwork speak for itself. I showed people what I was doing. I told people what I was doing. So while I never got, I got ANS awards, I never entered ANS competitions, and I did it because I, I did it my way. Okay? I didn't worry about anything. I just did it my way, and I had a good time, and I enjoyed myself. Uh, fighting. Um, I learned to fight my way. I learned to fight the ways that worked for me. Um service and what I could when I could how I could I'm a local officer in 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 my province uh, I've been doing that for doing my position now for about six years it's really low-key but I get it done uh, it doesn't really strangely enough it's it, public interaction but it's not it's very limited um, do demos uh, it is not the onus of everyone around you to do your job. Okay, our job is as Aspies is to learn what we can and cannot do, accept that, be okay with it, not yell at others, and just move on. Okay, I can't do this, but I can do this. And work around it. It'd be like my dysgraphia, okay? Um I can't write for very long. A three page paper to me in college was hideously long. A ten page paper was impossible. So what I learned to do was I learned to compress 10 pages worth of information into three pages. 
I learned to not write like they teach you. I learned to write like I'm speaking. I, I talk to myself when I type. And I learned that um, spell check is my friend and that I'm not very good at grammar. Um, so I learned to tell stories in my writing and I learned to tell oral stories. And so it's very kind of an old style. I'm using drawn speech to communicate speech. That's how I did it. Um, my other Aspie effects, I just told people, dude, you need to tell me when I'm going over the line. You need to do this. And you know people, you motherfucker, you did this. Um, I got in a fight with an ex-girlfriend because I told her you need, to, you need to tell me when I step over the line. And instead of going, honey, you need to do X, Y, and Z, you're doing this. She screamed at me and she yelled at me and she got very accusatory. And then she later said, well, I, you told me to tell you when I stepped over the line. I said, you do it gently. And you, you attacked me. So you need to be self-aware. You need to be self-actualized. You need to be self-possessed. Okay, you're coming at a negative. And there are simply some things you'll never be able to overcome. But if you're worried about the goal, sometimes you need to redefine the goal. And if you think you can make the goal, but the pathway laid out is not going to work for you, Choose a different path. Make it work. We're Aspies. We're creative. We see things other people don't. We need to use the only positives we happen to have. And we need to exploit them. Okay? We need to just be clever, crafty, conniving motherfuckers. And, I mean, that's not saying lie. I'm saying don't lie. I'm not saying lie. I'm saying... Be sneaky, be clever, because you're fighting yourself. And always tell the truth. You know, don't be like, oh, well, be honest. One of the hardest things that we can do is to be honest with ourselves. And we need to accept that it is better to hear the harshest truth than the sweetest lie. Okay? And you need to accept that people are going to be pretentious. And like, I can help you and I can do that. And you're like, dude, asshole, fuck off. Um, you know, but you got to be okay with that. You've got to learn to live and to laugh and to not be all serious and uptight. Because if you're serious and uptight, it's your ass. You're not going to make it in the SCA. Um, we are the other. We are the alien. We are the ones that seem different, not part of the tribe. Okay? And... Um, I've been on four guards as a fighter. I've helped out in a few courts. And I did this all by learning what I could do and knowing what I couldn't. And being creative. Um, I'm a strong man. I'm a strong man and I have a good endurance even if I do have stress-induced asthma. Um, I can carry things all day. So what do I do? I say, hey, you know, I'm not very good in public. But setting up tents carrying your gear, um, running messages, finding people. I'm a courier by trade. I can find people. I know how. I don't know how I can not understand a neurotypical mind, but I can still figure out where they go. Probably a skill set I learned. Um, so yeah, it's not about solving the problem to get to the goal to use the method that everyone else is using. It's about figuring out what you want figuring out where you are, and then figuring out how to get there. Remember, it's your path. Your path. You have to walk it. If you fight, you have to swing the sword. You have to take the hit. You have to build the armor. Okay? If you sing, it's your voice. If you cook, it's your food. Everything is you. Okay? Don't be afraid to listen to other people. There are some times you will turn, you will hear a neurotypical say something, and you'll be like, dude, that's the most brilliant shit in the world, okay? Remember, stealing from one person is plagiarism, but stealing from many is research, okay? So, so yeah, I, I'm just going to say, just, you know, to sum up, get people who know, be open about it, be honest, and if somebody says, well, you did this, this, and this, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm asking, this is what's going on, how can I make it up to you? 
Okay, we will always be operating a deficit. We will always have to try harder, do more, be more. We will have to walk a hundred miles to cover one. So just be willing to walk a hundred miles. You all have a good evening, all right? And congratulations to my friend Sir Miles Fitzrolf for getting to uh, finals and becoming Commandopolis in West Kingdom March Crown and long live Crown Prince of the West. Jarl Thorfinn, Jarl Sir Thorfinn the Cruel, and his lady Itain. Don't quote me on that. And remember, uh, I post things on Tumblr, and I post things on my Facebook page that interest me. And if you want to know anything about the SCA, uh, it's pretty much going to be the last SCA-specific video, unless I have requests for more, obviously. Uh, it's the only one that I came up with. Um, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.